Hey, hey. So, I just woke up. So, I decided to ruin my day by playing this shit game. So, this is a game called Feel Me. Well, I mean, that's the episode called. Anyways, you probably heard of this game before. Basically, you just play a bunch of stories on here. I like to live other people's life since I don't have one. Okay. Well, don't make assumptions about my preference, but I'm gonna pick girl because it feels a lot more comfortable. You want to date girls, is that right? Yeah. Mm, no, I, I think she looks fine. <clears throat> oh, Alright, <clears throat> gotta do, gotta do a uh, protagonist voice. Keep in mind, this girl is a pick-me girl. <laughs> you can tell by her hair. Mm. At first glance, my life would seem perfect. I have excellent grades, a loving family, and a gaming VTube channel called... What's the name of your gaming channel? We should name it... Oh, very smart. So very smart. I'll go with 10,000 followers, I feel like family. <laughs> uh. Oh, I can pick an aesthetic, that's cute. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go with this one. You know what, this is actually kinda cool that I can do this. Blah, blah, exit app, come on, hurry up. Sure you wanna exit? Mm -mm. Hi everyone! <laughs> Hearts! Thanks for falling so very smart and hey, to all the noobs joining my new game, you- I would never call people noobs. Well, I mean I would. What's your first name if you don't want your name to be Serena? My name will be called Sue Mar 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 Z. Last name should be Davis, now my last name will be very mom of you. Welcome! Oh, this is cool, actually, shit! Okay, uh, I'm soft, okay, I don't want to say your name. Soft, use. Look at me, I got a really weird looking face. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want an afro. I want generic hair, because that's my hair. Dark hair, they got dark brown, that is not dark brown, that's medium brown. I got arched eyebrows, and I also have green eyes, but they don't have an option. I have a bunny nose. Um, this is trash, but it's good enough. No, no, I need to be a little more fearless. Oh, fucking Karen! Ew! God! This is terrible! Perfect! I look so hot. Look at me, I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. I'm a natural girl. <laughs> Good enough. This is perfect. I look like a teenage Karen. Yes, I'm beautiful. So super- Damn it! Oh, I didn't know I had to read my own name! So... <laughs> I'm- <laughs> Alright. I'm so mar 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 your bee mom of you, and I can't wait to slay some zombie butt with you all. Ugh. <laughs> Life is dope, right? Guys, I have a date. Apparently being a nerd is the new- So, you may wonder how Saturday night found me waiting alone outside the cinema. Actually, I don't, because I don't care about your life. Full disclosure, well, I may look like an ordinary teenager and a Karen. I'm actually hiding a huge secret. I'm an empath. I'm- It means I feel the emotions of everyone around me, whether I want to or not. Obviously, I've never read a dictionary. And while it seems pretty cool, the reality is anything but. Though I'm super intuitive, and creative, and very hot in Karen, I'm also anxious, oversensitive, and easily over- The fact that that's me. <laughs> Little wonder why my friend count sits at zero, because I'm such a loser. Is that the love interest? Would you like to catch a- <laughs> Would you like to catch a superhero movie with me later? You can imagine my excitement when the cute girl Jordan asked me, the invisible girl and the quirky, uh, shy girl, nerdy girl, quirky girl, not like other girl girls, on a date. Even Michelle, the school mean girl, with design, with designs on my date, with designs on my date. <laughs> Pathological jealousy, my online following. <sighs> who ruined my first date by pursuing Jordan to ditch me for her. Honestly, if Jordan does that, Jordan's kind of a dick anyway. And this how I ended up here, waiting around for my date who'll never show. It was beyond grateful for my amazing subs and their unwavering support even through the most difficult moments, but damn, I want some real life friends. And maybe one day, someone who could love me. Little did I know, someone was about to grant my wishes, turning my entire life upside down. I love how when she walks, she looks like she's flying. There was a 99 chance she would stand me up. Evidently, math never lies. Obviously, you don't know how to do math. Oh, mom. Mm. 
how are we supposed to raise four kids if we can't even afford rent? <gasps> oh my god, mom! The fact that I have four siblings... No, I, th my mom has four kids. <gasps> That's gonna be my sister! Okay, <clears throat> Kimberly. Uh, Counting me as a kid? That's my little brother, hi, that's gonna be hi him! Alright, mm. you're 36. <laughs> you didn't sound like that. Mm. You're 30 single and still living with the parents. With the parents. It's hardly inaccurate. Shut up. That's my older brother Isaac, he's a fucking nerd! He's a nerd! It looks like that's his hair, not his eyes, but that's his hair. Mom, Dad, if you'd only listen to me. I have this amazing business idea. Darling, let the grown-ups discuss money. You don't know shit. We have no choice but to move back with your mother, regardless of our turbulence relationship. But Grandma lives miles away, and I told Susie that I love her. Honey, isn't age 12 a little early to be talking about love? We have to move? Aren't you supposed to be on a brainless jock day right now? Aw, uh, well, it means... It ended up as a twosome with me, myself, and I, me, myself, and I. You'll be pleased to know we had a blast. That's a weird way to say it. But hey, we're broke, so that's at least you selfish bitch. Shouldn't you be crying in your room like a normal heartbroken teen from a crappy romance movie that actually cares about their parents' financial situation and is scared for real-world events instead of your love life? Why would I cry and you tell me the new school? <laughs> It'd be funny if your school was a cardboard box. In a new school, it means people that I could finally have the life of my dreams. I don't think you know how being broke works. This place is way cooler than I remembered. It looks like a Barbie house, completely made of plastic and a piece of shit. Yeah, it's become one of the <laughs> yeah, it's become one of the classiest neighborhoods that took over in the last few years. What? So they're bankrupt, but they live in a classy neighborhood. That makes sense. The writing is just <laughs> astonishing. A family of Uber's bitch up the Snowville. Sounds about right. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of accent. Why did you never bring us here to visit camera? Can grandma? Grandma, Grandma! Long story, dear. You and Bruce were so young when we moved. This is the perfect opportunity to reconnect with your grandma. Oh, Grandma's got the drip. Okay, mm-mm. Would you look at that? Apparently, all it takes is bankruptcy to return my own child to the nest. Plot twist, she planned it all. Scratch, scratch. I still can't get over the fact of how gorgeous I look. <laughs> Graham! Come here so I can smother you with What the fuck? I miss it. <laughs> that was fucking weird. I miss living with Graham's her belly spirit. Her energy was contagious, literally. Wow. Grandma has the moves, the moves of a flopping fish. It's the latest pickpock challenge. You're on pickpock? Isn't everyone on Batty Grandma? <laughs> That's a terrible name. No, too much edginess for me. <laughs> Do you need a ride to your new ther- <gasps> This is the life of my dreams, I have a therapist! Mom seems kinda busy with- sorry. Mom seems kinda busy with the unpacking. How about we go together? I'd love that, let me just get ready. What a piece of- wow. Ugh, what's that- Oh, what's that awful smell? You have to brush your teeth, dear! I'm afraid of finding the source, so I'm choosing ignorance. It matches the rest of my personality. We need to redecorate this place before you start senior year. Redecorate, you say? We need to get to work ASAP. <sighs> it hurts to talk. All right. A change is long overdue. The furniture smells like moldy cheese. Oh, Grandma doesn't know how to clean. Time to customize your room. Purple walls. Why can't they choose white? I'm basic. You know, I'm going to make this place as ugly as possible. I'm gonna choose everything that I hate. This literally hurts my eyes. Actually, it's not like super bad. Yeah, let's go with this. This is the most beautiful room ever. So, my, 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 my. what the? F oh, okay. You know what? I'm fine with my moldy, stinky room. It reflects my face pretty well. Oh, you still have me, Sir Caterpillar. I remember your little face on the day the adorable childhood friend gave it to you. <laughs> Do 
you know if she lives in the house across the street? She does, and she's grown into a very beautiful young woman. I wonder if I'll run into her at school. <gasps> oh crap, it's already five and we're gonna be late. Walk, walk, walk. Time to choose your look. A bathrobe or normal clothes? I'll go with normal clothes. Is this the one? Yeah, I'll choose it. Tap on the perfume you want to wear. Let's go with whatever the hell this is. Jasmine scent. Okay, I know what that is. Let's go with Poppy. Like, the, like crack. <sighs> what else is she sniffing? Well, don't you look interesting. I'm hiding my identity so I don't get branded a weirdo. Actually, that literally makes you a weirdo. Can you imagine how embarrassing I'd be to meet someone at a therapist's office where you take care of your mental health? Because being healthy, embarrassing. And the online haters call me odd. Why does grandma sound so eh? Someone's already here. Legs. I need to avoid any eye contact and just pray I won't see her in my new school. I'll just stare at her legs. Sit. <laughs> Hashtag hot girlfriend. I should have known that people like her aren't interested in girls like me. Cause I'm not like other girls. I, I I'm a self-centered narcissistic bitch. <laughs> Is she breathing? <laughs> I mean, obviously. Oh, mysterious girl. Oh, plot twist is a childhood friend, obviously. Everything okay? A girl who recently stood me up just posted a picture of her with Miss Popular. Hardly surpassing that she chose me. She's basically perfection while I'm just, well, <laughs> me. Well, I really should work on this oversharing thing. Yeah, you should. That's embarrassing. The fact that I overshare. Meh, perfection is a totally yawn fest. And judging by your outfit, I'd label you as anything but boring. I'd label you as homeless. I may not be boring, but I have tons of flaws to make up for it. Like being extremely emotional. Unlike other girls, I, I have emotions. Given the choice, I wouldn't shed a tear for that jerk, but I can't control myself. And I freaked her out too. <laughs> Is working a human scarecrow a thing? Cause I'd be a millionaire. Here. My glasses are all foggy. Why is your glasses foggy? Is that for me? Yeah. Yeah, that's why she said here, you dumbass. Did you get that for me or are you just shoving it in my face for literally no reason? It was for my imaginary friend, but he said he prefers organic tea. Thank you. Who knew imaginary friends could have such sophisticated taste? <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Sorry for losing what very little cool I have. I have so little cool because I'm so hot. Oh, Alright, sorry. Mm. I'm not sure what came over me. Showing your emotions in something you should be apologizing for. Ho ba ba! Hey. That's my therapist. Try not to flood the waiting room before yours comes, okay? <gasps> Stupid sunglasses. I'm so curious to see what she looked like. Those are sunglasses. You know, you ever hear of reflective glasses? No, of course not, because you're stupid. Unlike other girls, you don't do research about anything. Journal of gratitude, huh? Oh, cat, what do you feel better? O okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, it's the cool girl. Mm -mm. Would you be okay with the answer that I'm grateful for the emptiness of my heart, for the suffering I reject, because if I accept it, it would destroy me. Ew, so edgy. It was immediately obvious to me who had written those words. Another pick me girl, just like me. Even though I'd only just met her, I wanted to help her. See the beauty in life. I felt the burden of other people's sorrow every day, and I couldn't let the ending of suffering try to help, even if it's just a little bit. Hello, gloomy girl. What a bitch. No, I don't accept that answer. However, it feels like you need some help to find little beads of joy in your everyday life. Be grateful for the sun that shines as bright as your future. I didn't know the basement was bright, but let's go. Ew. Samar, Mar, 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 Marcy, are you ready? Your older therapist has told me all about your struggles as an empath. I want to know that you're in good hands. I never saw that girl in the waiting room again. I wasn't ready to ditch my silly disguise, but I wanted to continue talking with her. Fortunately, the journal of gratitude became the perfect way for us to communicate. Your perfume brought back memories I had forgotten. 
It smells like soap. I haven't had that in a long time. Thank you, Peony. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> After weeks of hesitation, I finally found the courage to text her. How could I start a conversation? Hey, it's me, the weird- Ew, pick me girl! What's up? Hey, what's up? The sky, the moon, the clouds, my attitude. <laughs> From that moment on, our texting never stopped. Text, text, text. Text, text, text. Text, text, text. Texting, texting, texting. Text, text, text. Text, text, text. How are you, gloomy girl? Since you gave me that nickname, you should know the answer. I have something to cheer you up. I present to you Drumroll the Munchkin Cat. <laughs> what an ugly little fuck. He looks bloodshot eyed. Is that a picture of you when you were a baby? <laughs> Summer raced by, and suddenly, New City Life wasn't such a scary prospect. It doesn't look like a city, but okay. Your first day. Sorry. Mm. Your first day as a Big Valley High School senior is finally alive. Arrived. Excited. I can't speak English. It's definitely up time to upgrade your bedroom. You never know when the girl you're texting may surprise you with a visit. Don't you think about inviting your crush over when you're degrossing the stump? Are you seeing a girl? I'm in a room full of them. Yes, Mima. You're blind. Don't be prude, Mary. Our little one is over 18 years old. She's just a friend. <laughs> For now, soon she'll fear me. You're right, though. My new room is in dire need of revamp. Asa, no, I am not spending money. I'll stick to this. My room may be basic. A this is basic. That's not basic. That's 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 in need of mental evaluation. But I can dress like a rock star. Choose something eye-catching. My first day of school is gonna be full of events. What kind of vibe do I want to give? Uh, okay, so bad girl, then I'm gonna be the sweetheart. These look awful. No. No. No, this is terrible. This is all terrible. These are also kind of bad. But you know what? No! Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. You know, this is the most comfortable one, I guess. Da -da -da -ding! <laughs> Fuck you! Are sure you want to wear this? Ah, oh, screw you. Why do you make me spend money? Prick. <sighs> now I'm standing at the entrance. I'm not convinced I can make it. What are you afraid of? I don't do well in crowds. They make me feel panicky. Sort of breath and faint. I'm not down for making it fool of myself on the first day. You'll be fine. Just follow my three tips. First, don't dress up like a crazy person. Just dress homeless like you always do. Some may have called my disguise at the psychologist Avant Grande. What? Second, please don't use the Munchkin Cat as a conversation starter. It makes you look mentally ill. Munchkin Cat is quite the icebreaker. What about the third? Just be yourself. It's more than enough to scare people away. You really- someone cutting onions? Go now, or you'll be late. You know, I was thinking what it would be like if we were both heading to the same will school without even knowing it. Which one do you go to? I'd rather remain mysterious. Just tell me whichever school you go to! Just tell me, silly! A picture. Stop texting- Why? After solid 15 minutes and patching myself up, I entered the hallway. Shortly before a whirlwind of emotion enveloped me in a suffocating grip. This is not going well. My head is spinning. My ears are ringing. Text that, sorry to disappoint you, but I can't do this. I want to go home. <laughs> and then I continue to run further deeper into the school. <sighs> I bumped into someone as I held on tight to her with trembling hands. Something truly extraordinary happened. The whirlwind of emotions around me suddenly faded away, and I was protected by an invisible shield. <laughs> feeling free from feeling everyone else's feels, I could focus on my slowly erratic heartbeat. She smells like- Are you sniffing her tits? I haven't felt this safe since I was a little girl. Who's this girl, and why do I feel like I know her? 
You've unlocked your first card. Don't let them know I'm broken. Cringe. Well, that was the end of the chapter. How was that? You guys like that? I don't know about you, but I feel disgusted. Well, that was stupid. Anyways, I'm gonna do a whole series on this because my channel is just starting to grow and you know what? This is honestly kind of fun. So, for now, also tell me if there's any games that I should play. They can't be really online games because my internet is ass. So yeah, see ya.